Uh, 50 Cent told me something. We was at the uh, PIMP video. We was in the back. Well, Pippa can say, don't down him, crown him. Preach! Because, you know, a Bishop and Snoop Nam was over there. Mm -hmm. I was in uh, Pimp's, I mean, in uh, 50 Cent's uh, dressing room. And he told me, I said, yeah, yeah, man. I said, you know, I said, that book, uh, Pimp, I said, kill him. He, he looked at me, you know, at 50 Cent. Look, he said, Ken, he said, you only get one time to be that nigga. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You know, that's why I don't do drugs, man, because... I don't want a nigga to, my biggest fear is a nigga give me some bad drugs. That's what I be saying. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so if I wanted to do some cocaine or I wanted to shoot some cocaine or shoot some heroin and it's got some crazy stuff in it, I can die. That's so right. So these guys are not chemists, you know what I'm saying? They don't understand how chemistry works. So, you know, you putting your hands in someone who don't have the skill set to actually administer drugs, you know, and, uh, I think that a lot of our young people, man, you know, they got a lot of trauma, you know, post-traumatic stress disorder, and they just trying to escape, you know, and people go through, some, you know, mental illness is real. It's a lot of mental illness in our community. You know, if an army man go to Iraq or he go to, say, uh, Afghanistan or somewhere where they have war at, he come back, he needs some type of special treatment. They got to give him counseling. What about the brothers and sisters that, you know, seeing these people get ripped with these uh, uh, Dracos and these uh, these hunting rounds every day. You know, I mean, guns is popping in our hood every day. So it, if it was good for the goose, it's good for the gander. So it's got to be going on in our community as well if it's going on overseas in war. So, you know, we in a war zone. You know, wow. the, some of the guns that our young people got today is just crazy. So I think a, a easy escape is drugs. So I think yeah. a lot of our young people, they use drugs, you know, to escape. And uh, you know, a lot of people say weed is a, a a gateway to a lot of other drugs. You know, sometimes weed just don't do it. Yeah, you know? yeah. And, and people got to go to that next level. And when you get to the point where weed is no longer good, and you go to the next level, then I think that's when you're in peril. And I think, and I think that's what happened. You know, when a lot of you know, especially celebrities. I mean, if you go back in celebrity dome, you know, Michael uh, Michael Jackson. What was that? P purple fall. Purple fall, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Prince, he alleged, Prince. It, you know, Elvis Presley. Yeah. You know, uh, man, the list go on, man. Just drug overdose after drug overdose because it's a lot of burden. You know, and then, you know, me being a celebrity, you know, uh, people, under, they say, Ken, why are you always selling DVDs? Why are you always in the hood? Because they keep me sane. You know what I'm saying? If I had to go by being Pippin' Ken and I had to meet that standard of Pippin' Ken, then that would be a hard bar to reach because you ain't gonna always be pimping Ken. Uh, 50 Cent told me something. We was at the uh, PIMP video. We was in the back. P -I -M -P. Well, Pippin' Ken say, don't down him, crown him. Preach! Because, you know, a Bishop and Snoop Nam was over there. Mm -hmm. I was in uh, Pimp's, I mean, in uh, 50 Cent's uh, dressing room. And he told me, I said, yeah, yeah, man. I said, you know, I said, that book, uh, Pimp, I said, kill him. He looked at me, you know, at 50 Cent, he said, Ken, he said, you only get one time to be that nigga. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and then he got to figure out something to be a nigga, something else to be a nigga in again. So what he was saying is like, you know, even with the get Richard dying trying, I guess he was saying, I'm only one. I'm only 50 Cent one time. I can never relive get Richard die trying. I can never relive pimps up a hose down. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, me? But a lot of people try to relive those moments and they try to stay in that zone. And what happens is that zone do no, lo, no longer exists, and that individual end up going crazy or end up yeah. looking for escapes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes drugs is the best escape go for people because it takes you out of your moment for now. But once the drugs go down, you got to go, and you got to revamp, you got to do it again, and you got to re-up your high. So, you know what I'm saying? That's why I stay, that's why you're always going to see me selling DVDs. You're always going to see Stand me humble. walking around normal. You're going to always see me talking to bums. I'm going I'm, to I'm always pull over if I got some dollars and give them some bums some money because that's how I stay sane. And that's why everybody else is going crazy and, and having an overdose, and I'm still here. No, and I agree with that because when you look, people... They can't handle it. Like a lot of times, like even the character, the actors, well, whether it was, uh, what was that boy's name? Arnold? And uh, what was his real name? 
Gary Coleman, mm -hmm. did, uh, them guys, and Willis and uh, the girl that was on there, they could never, and even, even J.J., like, they could never get past those characters because it was yeah. so big. Yeah. They they kind of overshadowed their 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 person. But Pimps of Hold Down had a billion views. Same thing. That's what I'm saying. It could have did the same thing. I'm just showing you how you were able to move on and maneuver and other people get get stopped, get and caught. I'm, and I'm giving people the remedy. Still go to Walmart. Stay home. You know, go go to Target. You know what I'm saying? I mean, go go to your cousin's house. Go sit down with your kin folks. You know what I mean? That's gonna keep you from tripping, you know what I mean? And, and start seeing shit and hearing voices because that's what happens, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I stay humble, you know, and people laugh, you know, that some people laugh, they say, man, nigga still selling DVDs, don't nobody have DVD. I don't care if they have DVDs, when they don't buy the DVD, I say, man, buy it like it's a Jordan, man, put it on the shelf like it's a collector's item, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I said, I'm excited for you, we gonna take a picture, man. I know you ain't got no DVD player, but that's all right, little homie, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, talk shit, they laugh, and they go in their pocket and give me $20. That's hard. And I sometimes, you know, people be like, Man, I ain't gonna buy that shit, Pip. I'm just gonna give you a donation. I said, ain't no nation like a donation. <laughs> yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.